Good evening, Draftaholics, and welcome to Draft Punks. The most... I've just sent Adrian an image, which he hasn't opened yet, and we're all going to get his live reaction to it for the intro. Draft Channel on the internet! My name is Sam, and I'm joined for another Phyrexia All Will Be One Draft, as always, by Adrian Walker. How are we doing, Adrian? <laughs> Come on, read it out for <laughs> us. <laughs> uh, rankle Master of Prankle, Legankle, Creankle, Fankle... Fankle rankle, <laughs> flankle ankle, whatever rankle, monster, prankle, dankle, cankle, da da dankle, cankle, dankle to a plankle, choose any nankle, each plankle, discankle, a cankle, each plankle, lankle, one linkle, and drankle, each plankle, sacrankle, a crankle, and it's a 3 3. Uh, <laughs> what? And I think that might be the most sense that Adrian has ever made on this channel. Uh, I, I, I don't really know what I'm looking at. It is fun, though. It's fun. <laughs> um, it's yeah, because it's got big. Um, it's got big teenage mutant needle teetles. Oh, me teenage mutant needle teetles. You mean? That's right. That's the one. You know it better than I do by now. Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> um, is this good? So, I've been wanting to play with this for a while. Um, before the set, I thought it was unplayable. And then I had a good player at Human Meat Draft play it against me, and he made it look incredible. And I've lost to it on Arena as well. If you, if you build around it hard, it's really powerful. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I saw it a real human meat draft on Monday and I didn't pick it because I was like, this doesn't look great. This has a uh, five yeah. mana do nothing uh, stapled all around it. Yeah, which is pretty tough in this format, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you if you go hard around it, it can be really powerful. And look, we're kind of in the market for build arounds because there aren't a lot of them in this format. So I'm pretty stoked to. to that's that that's one. true. Um. Do we like Hazardous Blast? Or 3-3 three, three minus 3-3? Three, three. Yeah, I, I've normally been taking this card in this sort of spot. Um, I could see an argument that the 2-drop is better, but this card does tend to go around a little bit, so I think second picking it's a bit aggressive. Haz second picking Hazardous Blast is a bit aggressive as well. I reckon we can pick up one of these a little bit later. Yes. Which well, maybe that's maybe that's foolish, but I think this card is a uh, hot a hot ticket at the moment. It is, yeah. Um, okay, that's nice. That is nice. That is very nice. I was gonna say we could um we could pick free from flesh, which is basically a hex called slash when you have all will be one. That's true, yeah. <laughs> That's true. So yeah, I guess we're in the market for these. If we can pick up a few of these throughout the draft. We're doing the uh, we're doing the red thing again. Likewise this thing. Oh, but now we've got spice. Oh yeah, yeah. Well yeah, I mean not quite the red thing, but yes, we're playing red, but now we're doing a whole other different thing. Uh wow, white's really open, huh? I can't, yeah. <sighs> I guess we move into it. I really want to be green, but I'm not like I'm well, not taking we could, it. We could, hey, hey, what video eight? What are we gonna do? Win? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could also be blue because blue has oil and blue also has proliferate because that's the thing oh, I've seen people do with it. Right? You've got oh, you put like five counters on things and ding something yeah. for five. Yeah. Um. Like, do I do I just do this? Is that is that insane? I would. My gut feeling is to take the planar disruption. Yeah, just because uh, you know maybe we'll be white. Yeah, we'll just we'll feel our way out from here. Oh, a bit more Fenace punishment. Sounds fine to me. Speaking of Fenace, the Fenace skull bomb is kind of what we're in the market for as well. Oh yeah, right. Cool. So we first picked all we won, and we haven't seen a single oil card yet right <laughs> well we saw uh you know uh free free from flesh oh yeah true okay i am a liar 
Uh, wow, white is dummy open. White toxic in particular. Which um, is hard to pair with our red. I guess this bit. triggers whenever you put counters on a permanent or player. It does trigger off poison counters, which is pretty cool. That's kind of neat. <laughs> um, okay, so do I go wilds, prowler, or crawling chorus? I think if we're going, if we're going wins, I think it's chorus. If we're going funds, maybe it's terramorphic expanse for the the crazy splash later on down the line. Um, yeah. Oh, what? This, this is wow. insane. This is Look at this pack. This pack is completely stacked. Like, gee, I, except for these two, I would happily take most of these cards in the first half of a pack. Now, do we pick Fenace Strider for the counters yeah. or Chimney Ravel just because it's really, really good? Nah, Furnace Strider. Furnace. Okay, okay. Fena Fena it's, it's pronounced Fenace, Sam, please. Sorry. I don't take pronunciation... Advice from people who talk about Rankle Master of Prankle. Whoa, whoa, uh, uh. I can't believe you you would set me up like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> you sent um, it to me specifically for the beginning of video gag, and and now you go. <laughs> this guy says things wrong. Does that? Why are you surprised by this? Um, yeah, you're right. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. Um, but that speaking of me. surprise, speaking of surprise. This, this goes with all of the one. That it does. And, and a one mana, two counters is, is not nothing. Mm, that's a shock, baby. That's a Build shock. That's shock. a shock that mills people. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm going to take this augury. Uh, Wow. Wow. Okay. So I guess like we said, these go around, which is the one we were talking about. Yeah, that's so it. We'll pick that up. We we wheel it up, baby. Um ooh, engraver. Ooh. Free from Very flesh. Happy. Engraver with four cards in the pack? Isn't that illegal? Uh might be. I think wow. I need to Whoa. Nobody plays blue. It's so good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just- just take the busted blue cards. Okay, well, uh, that has oil. oil counters on it. That's playable. Um. Okay. Vault All charge right. looking good. It is, yeah. Uh, oil, but I don't want to first pick this. And we're really not green. We're super, I mean, super got- not green. Like, we've got avenues to be green, white, or blue from this point, so I'm ready to open Archfiend of Busted in the next pack. Archfiend of Busted. I think that's what the card's <laughs> called. Um, yeah, I did, I did get my cheeks clapped up by Archfiend of Busted at Real Human Meat Draft this week. Uh, churning Reservoir has got to be crazy, right? Ooh. Okay. All right. This is definitely the pick. But, but I don't But it also risk... came around like second last pick last last time. True. Yeah. Which probably means we'll wield the reservoir because it usually wheels, but. But also uh, our viewers would never let us live it down if we didn't. No, no, no. Yeah. And the time I played against this, they did have reservoir and it was it was nuts in their deck. So oh, d- oh, yeah. I'm going to try and I'm going to try and replicate that. Um. Let's see what we can do. Ah, slow bad. Um, and Hello. it is not Hello, fast good. Uh, this is a three mana three three, which is probably just like totally fine in this format, but not a high priority. Um, saw blade scamp is pretty good with the reservoir, right? You ping them on end step, then make a one one. And I guess it just does get oil counters, which is not terrible. That's it. Right. Oh, this is probably pretty decent with what we're doing. I just want as much oil as, as humanly possible, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting opinion there, wanting as much oil as humanly possible. Are you, 
You don't happen to be the United States State Department. Uh, Look, I'm just I'm just a regular capitalist. I don't know what to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, ooh. I can't bring myself to take Fenastra Skull Bomb over this. <laughs> we could have the we could have the third Punisher though. We could have third Punisher. Yeah. How much oil do we have? This can put oil on everything. Everything. O- oil. Oh, uh, Golem's gonna slap in our deck, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty sick. Also, it increases the amount of damage that all will be one. Oh against. yeah, because it's like hardened scales for oil. Um, yeah. In I want to do this. In Ingra- I shouldn't. Engraver, <laughs> yeah. Um, I saw someone trigger uh, Eye of Malkator at instant speed with this. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Just pass their turn with all their mana, and the opponent's like, sweet, I'll attack with my 2-2s. Two that might can't block. Now, there is Mir X, but where is Mir, Mir Y? If, if Mir X, why no Mir, Mir Y? Because, because you have to find Mir X if you're a maths person, and I'm a a math a Look, maths let's just, person. Let's, <laughs> let's just think about this pack. Look, there's no time for jokes. Um, I'm going to take this. I guess yeah, we haven't this. really committed oh. to a oh. that is completely wild, but also oh yeah. Okay, so I think this card isn't actually that good, but it makes oil, so we're in. Yeah, I mean, we really don't have much criteria other than does it do oil? Yeah, if it's got oil, we're ready to invade. Well, speaking of oil. This? There is a world. Yeah. Ah, oh, but you are right. Blue is really tempting. This can put a poison counter oh. on. Them. <laughs> <laughs> what did we get? All right, cool. <laughs> uh, that's good with me. Um, so that's probably Chrome Prowler here. How are we doing on twos? Is the only thing. Oh, we've got a few. We okay, got some yeah, twos. We got some twos. Okay, let's tidy this up a little bit. We'll leave the two green cards in there because maybe. Just for uh, posterity, you know. What What did I take over the... Uh, oh, the yeah, minutes? proliferate. Yeah, I, I felt the tyranny of the... God damn, blue and red, huh? It's probably just this. It, like, even in the oil deck, this is probably just better. Well, I don't... I don't know. We have three of them. It's not like we're missing out. Fenace? Fenace Skull Bomb? I think so. I normally like this card, but I'm in for this. I could, I could get, get for, ooh. Cool. Oh, blue red looking all right. Yeah, we've got a bit of a, we've got a bit of a cool brew going on here. Is this a bomb? Um, oh no, this is unplayable. <laughs> um, this card is so, all right, play the 17 lens music. I want to know, I want to know how, oh. how bad this card is. Well, we're playing it. Do you want to? Do you want to have a guess? Is it just like thirty percent? That's a reasonable guess. Also, it could play Golem the second is pretty hot. It is, yeah. There's an argument to take Batafist here because Batafist is really good. Forty-two point eight is Geth Thane of Contracts. So not great. And has has been in someone's hand more than four thousand times. Wow. How many times has it wrathed their board of all of their mites? That's what that's the stat I really want to know. <laughs> how how many times has someone played it into a board full of mites and they've just died? Ooh, do we um, like the raptor or the seer? That's what I was wondering. Because they both deal three damage, but one is better on its own than the other. Oh, actually, one. we have a lot of three drops. Let's, yeah, um... that's a good point. We got to shore up those one drops. And the Glistener Seer uh, Reservoir combo is real, and we will know how to play it correctly this time. <laughs> yeah, we won't screw it up this time. That being said, this thing with Ikaplay Golem is really strong. That's true. But all right, let's let's go cheap. Let's let's kind of 
be at least a little bit Can I have big card, Sam, please? And everyone wants big card too. Um, Uh, Oh, dude, we could have had we could have had so many furnace punishers. Yeah, is this the fourth? Yes, or the fifth? Fourth? Yeah. Um, Raptor now, or do you like? I think I like Raptor more than Synthesizer. With what we're doing. Yeah, I don't think Although we have maybe, too many non-creatures. Uh, maybe we're a little short on twos is the issue. But I also don't think we have very many non-creatures. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Um, otherwise, you could get me around to another uh, Furnace Punisher. Um, just, you know, just for the sake of it. Um, just grab a two drop now. I guess? It's not great. How many artifacts do we have? Eight? Not enough. Um, I mean, like, it's not enough to make it good, but I kind of just need things that block. I could take a prologue two. to Phyresis here, is what I was going to say. And it's technically a two drop. I can see it, but... But, but, but you can't. Right, there we go. That's um, a better two drop. Uh, well, I was going to I was gonna hit you with the Fenace Skull Bomb. Yeah. We we will likely wheel this, and I, I think we we just need twos. We just need to survive to be able to do fun things. Okay, so that this will. So what you're telling me, we will get one card out of this pack, and that will be the last one. Adrian, th- this is pick five, and there are uh, eight people at the table. Ooh, serum snare. Love me a a Very removal that also proliferates. Love it. Um, Whoa. okay, that, this is check out, check very good. Rank. Um, I think I like the two drop? Yeah, I think so too. This can proliferate, I guess, but I don't think we're this kind of deck. <laughs> it's a bit cacophony though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you get it? Do you get it? There's a... I don't get it. Could you explain the Hold joke, on, please? hold on. My cacophone is ringing. <laughs> yep. Um... Oh, yeah, no, Sam. No, Sam doesn't know good jokes when he sees them. No, he's, uh, yeah. <laughs> they, they don't like your, they, your jokes, Sam. Uh, oh, there. Raptor. Let's go. All right. Can I hit you with we just cut those furnace punishers and play these instead? Um, would we play two? Yeah, we would play two. Yeah, let's go. So. We're not. We're not in the market for counter spells. In this no. Game. There you oh, go. prologue anyway. Sam, living the dream. Oh, I think this was the pack with the skull bomb in it. Uh no, this will be the pack with the skull bomb on it. In it. No. Very sad times. No. Um. Well. If it weren't for All Will Be One, this would be a regular kind of deck. With All Will Be One, this is a sweet deck. Oh, 100%. Okay, so the first thing we do is cut all these blue cards so I can play Thirsting Roots. That's a bold move. I'm not. I'm not cutting uh, Missouri. Uh, um, you can get the You can get the sack land in there. Maybe. I'll see. You don't like it? I've just come way off the sack lands. Oh, really? I'm yeah, like, may, I'm like, I might play one. Put I'll five one. in the deck, and I'll be happy. I, you might as well just drop from the draft. Whoa! All right, let's get rid of this. You're the one who took crawling chorus over evolve spinoderm. What are you talking about? I want to play five tap lands in my deck. Look, opinions change, Sam. You got to move oh, with we... the times. <laughs> Are you trying to tell the people that you'd no longer stand by your hottest of takes, your big dick move? Uh, <laughs> um, uh, no comment. That's cowardice. There right you there, go, friends. Absolute cowardice. Um, look, maybe, maybe not. 
but um, I like where this is going, though. Yeah, me too. Um, um, I actually like where this is going a lot. Yeah. Feel free to just tell me I'm doing crazy things. Um, what's that's four and of out of what forty six? Yeah, so I could do this and call it a day. Scamp says oil on it though. It does. Yeah. So what have I got? Three, I seven, eight, possibly nine. lose a prowler. Yeah, okay, sure. And then call that 41, and that's a perfect day. I'm cutting this, which kind of says oil, very unreliably. Yeah, only this one point is at a time. as far as oil cards go, is easily my least favorite. Um, This yeah. deck is definitely something. That's kind of cool. I'm into this. Um, yeah. I mean, double Ica Play Golem, I think, may just take it away on its own. Um, yeah. Oh, man, Gixian Anatomist actually. Ooh, I am. I'm coming around on it. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oil can I things? can I bring you over to Gixian An Anatomist? What would you cut for it? Um. Oh, sorry, not Anatomist. Wrong card. Wrong card. Wrong card. Don't worry about me. I'm thinking yep. of the other one. I'm thinking of the two drop that becomes unblockable. That has similar art. Two drop that becomes unblockable. You know, it's a two drop. It gets oil put on it whenever you cast a non-creature. Oh, Ica Synthesizer. That's the one. The Synthesizer. Gotcha. gotcha. You put the Yeah, that's the fair. Click I always get- It's a 24 track. And I think that could be a sound of the future. I always get, um, and I've done it on camera, actually. I always get... Me uh, and Giorgio Moroda mixed up, yeah. You're the same person as far as I can yeah, tell. Yeah, my, uh, my, my impression is very good. You derailed my thought. Um, right, let's <laughs> oh, go. Diamond! When did you get yeah. into Diamond? I may have been drafting a bit recently. Damn! Um, I, I didn't too... know we were in the highfalutin world of diamond draft. I'm not too far from mythic either. I don't think we'll get there this draft, but I might get close. I um... don't like it. There's a world in which if we rip a mountain, it's dope. Yeah. If we want to spend turn two auguring for a mountain, then we could yeah. do that. Otherwise, I don't like it. Yeah. Maybe we keep it, you know, game one, game one. What what could go wrong, right? Or or we just rip, hot rip, hot rip, hot rip mountain. He twisted my arm, people. I wanted to mulligan and Adrian's just that convincing me that is I need to keep this. The you, least, you all saw it happen. You saw it happen. That is the least ingenuous thing you've ever said. Did you pick up in editing the just like, come on, land? That's not it. Okay, we're auguring for a land. Um, did you pick up the, the, uh, the, oh, I don't know the right word for it. The villainous gaslighting that I pulled on you last week, maybe the week before. When I was in the black hole? No. Um, it was when we were, we were debating a play and you were trying to convince me. There it is. Of one of one particular thing, uh, submit zero. Um, I think it's time for a raptor. Yeah, pretty good answer to the uh, ambassador. Yeah. Um, yeah, you were trying to convince me to make one particular play and I was like, mm, I don't know if that's correct. And in the end went with your line and based on the way things turned out, it turned out to be perfect. And I just told everyone, See, I was right. We should have made that play. And I said it so convincingly that you're like, no, what, wasn't I the one? <laughs> I, I don't remember. You got, you got genuinely gaslighted on camera. It was fantastic. Gaslighted? Yeah. Isn't it gaslit? No, it's definitely gaslighted. Oh, okay. You told me it's gaslighted. Yeah, okay. I see what's <laughs> going on here. God damn it. Um... 
I mean, we may get slashed here, but what do you, what can you do? Yeah, like I could block here, but that I don't know what that achieves. I, don't, I can't think of a trick that, that that plays around. Yeah, see? Now they don't draw a card. Brilliant. Brilliant. In fact... They also need to spend their counters to- Oh, Trixie Hobbitses. This worked out beautifully. There you go. All right, I'll take that. It really is a very juicy noise mm, in an entirely um, unfortunate way. Now. Okay. What do we like? Do we go for the golem because it's mana efficient? I think or do so. we just play another thing? Well... Actually, I like golem because all of the other... Well, and by all no, of No, actually, the... I don't because next turn I can go golem plus reservoir. Whereas this turn I can... Just like I can play one of my red things because I'm choked on red mana. Oh, uh, yeah, just play the engraver. I'd love to get an extra oil counter on it from this, but it blocks the 2-2, two, two, and the 3-1 for that matter, so I think I prefer that. Also gives us uh, maybe a much-needed loot. True, yeah. Yeah, if I draw, like, another island. Put it on your ambassador. Mm. Not like that. Uh... What? Trade it for... The... Well, once I get this down, this is a 2-4. Yeah, we can take, take we this. can take 6. <laughs> what? Yeah. If the like, draft punks are good or any at anything, it's taking damage. We'll take 6. They can jump for 5. We're fine. This is fine. Yeah, nothing... It's not like they can... It's not like they can just remove the Ica Plate Golem. No, nothing could go wrong. That's play your second creature. Play, play your hand out. No. I learned. I think I loot that away. It's kind of useless. Um, I mean, it lets you play oh. Golem in a two drop. Actually, you're right. Yeah. I can okay, just not, not as useless as you might think. You're right. Okay. We'll hang on to this. We'll hang on to this just in case they play a scary, scary artifacty. Oh, if we can get this and this down, look at all their X ones. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna go crazy on them. Would you go as far as to say we would go wild in the paint? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would. I I would say that actually. We would go ferocious in the paint. We would go abhorrent in the paint. Interesting that they're doing it on that one. Does that mean they've got another complete note? They've used their white. I was going to say that looks like they're going to attack with both of these. Oh, they just want maximum damage. Maximum. Oh, yeah, but why wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, true. That's one more damage. Yeah, okay, sure. I guess they don't care about the poison kill. It's not, not going to happen. Okay, take six. Ouchies. Oh, I was really hoping they'd forget to move it off again. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, do I loot away my shrapnel, dude? Uh, I'd be tempted. I would be as well. Okay. 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 Okay, indeed. Where in? Business. Um, can I now, attack? Can I attack with this? I don't know if we're really in a position to start attacking, but that being said, these down. double spell well, is compelling, and they cannot. Like I'm definitely playing both of these. I'm definitely playing both of these. Uh, like yeah. once I've got two of these and two of these, is that enough to? 
Probably not. Oh, check out the chonkers! Yeah, no, we got some thick, thick thicknesses. This is coming in with four counters. This is awesome. Um, your turn. Don't let me take the counter off this. <laughs> I, I will not. I will attempt to stop you. Man, mountain is really what we need. It really is. Yeah. As soon as we get this going, they are toast. Yeah. Vegemite toast. Vegemite toast. That is what they will be. Um. Now, some of you, some of you might have heard of Vegemite. That's rude. Pretty good. The most important thing to understand about Vegemite. Is or are they thinking just take out a 3-5? Um, most, most foreigners, when they come to Australia, they have to try Vegemite because it's like the... Deal. That would have been my fifth choice out of five. Deal. All right. Are they planning on removing a Nicoplate Golem at instant speed or something? Oh. oh. That's clever. Well, at least we know it's in hand. Now, do we upkeep? Um, do we up upkeep them's? No. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Um. Okay, I'm gonna play this because then I can make uh, make a one one whenever I activate the engraver. Yeah, and that's pretty good against the um, Bordo X ones over there. Yeah. Um, I wonder if I'm supposed to just hold this until they they draw or like another flying equipment or another one of these. Mmm. That is a point. My two fours are still good. So if they if they yeet with all here, I make a one one and then lock this, lock this. It's kind of not great. Maybe I don't make a one one and then I like eat this. Eat this. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Request declined. Sh shot. I guess I could have activated... No, I don't want to activate this. I don't want to discard. Or will be one. No, you, you don't. I do have nine mountains in the deck. This is a little, uh... A little unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, what now, Burnet? Nothing. Deal. Huh? <laughs> um, on the prowler, I guess. Yeah, me, me guess too. Yeah. That can now trade with the uh the attendant. Well, that's not oh, bad at all. My kingdom for getting this on the board. <laughs> well, Augury will get you there. Yeah. Do you know what I reckon this uh, turn is? I reckon this turn is either a, a goblin. Um, I would need to discard one of these to make a goblin. Do you have to discard a card to make a goblin? I need to remove an oil. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, no, yeah, you got me. Yeah, yeah, so I think right. I'm just going to do this. We'll see what we find. It'll be either a good spell or a mountain. Mountain it is. Oh, I could have blown up the Annex entry. That's fine. We'll blow it up with all the one. Yeah, yeah. What do you, what's up? Now, do we draw draw a card, or do we equip Halberd? Equipping Halberd does basically nothing, so I think we draw a card. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
Do I have one drops in the deck? I've got three red and a blue, so I guess I leave up. Well, I don't have a choice. <laughs> so. I'm very smart sometimes, Adrian. Yeah, we we all are. Come on, opponent. Thinking. Is this a trip to Lasagna Town? We've been there before. Oh. Okay. It's pretty good. It's unfortunate. Okay. Hey, there we go. Hey! Your turn. So there could be a hefty schwang coming in this turn. Oh, are we dead? We're dead. Oh, and it's Xaxes, isn't it? Yeah. We take minimum damage and they swing for four. Yeah. Guess I should have left that red up to represent Hex Gold Slash. Do they? Okay, yep, they do. I mean, we're dead. <laughs> I mean, we're pretty dead. It certainly seems that way. Damn. You know what this means, Sam? You need to put more mountains in the deck. <laughs> now, that's the only outcome. That's the only that's possible true. action from what we've seen. Is we have to... <laughs> We, you've changed your icon. I have. I was wondering this when you noticed that. This is unprecedented. Yeah. The the same icon for the whole of the draft bunks, and you've changed it. Yeah, the whole time since I've had this account, actually. Wow. Yeah. the uh, The time of Tezzeret is over. We are um, we are we are a praetor now. Get some of that Jin Gataxi ass. How can you turn this guy down? Look how look how sick that is. J4 EP. Uh, this yep. is fine. This I was I would go as far to say uh, is a uh, bussin. That's what that's what I would say. It's not wild in the paint though, is it? No, it's not. Um, two two. Two man and two two for two. Shant. Deal. Oh, no. Deal. 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 I'm surprised that they did that. Yeah, might mean might just mean they're tapping out the next few turns. I guess. Dunno. Raptor? Yeah. Bloomp. That's fine. Oh, what a shame! It would be a, it would be a darn shame if we had a, a terrible four damage spell for one mana. Yeah. Um. Do I pick off the siphoner as well? I think I would like. I'll to. go slash charge. Yeah. Pick that off. Pick. Man, dang, okay. Let's go, just go mega, mega, full, full to the mega. Don't do it again. I've... Yeah, good, 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 good up. <laughs> that is something I would do. <laughs> um, I've gone back and forth on like how you're supposed to play the raptor in situations like that. Right now, I'm tending to use up the oil on it when I can. Because if they kill it, then you've kind of just left damage on the table. Yeah, I think, I'd, I think I would agree. 
I think I would have, ooh. Uh, hey, look at this fantastic island that's in our deck. That means I can play my four or five haste on turn five. Yeah, but we drew, look at all of the, the lands that we drew. Um, You could just like play the Surgical Bay, play the Fenace Skull Bomb, put, put some more Fenace on our dude and get swinging again. I think I will, now that you mention it. Yeah. Wow, the value. Oh, oh for the proliferate. Oh, smart man. Yeah. Smart man. Yeah. Also, in case they play a 2-2, two -two, then this can... This will, like, stop them from attacking with the 2-2. Two -two. Mm, yes. That's okay. fine. Okay. Uh, are we up keep scrying? Probably not, because I'm almost just certainly doing this. So... But I guess we get to, like, scry a land to the bottom, or not. I'd rather do it on, like, because, like, I, I, yeah. I don't think that is the turn to do it on. Well, shall I'm we still, like, trying to slam trying to get good at how to do that. Um, yeah. All right. Give it hate. <laughs> hate. Damn. <laughs> um, yeah. Activate the raptor? Or or not? This... Or are we still hedging our bets? Hmm. I think I will actually. Well I could I could see not. That's the thing. I'm I'm not saying that you should. Um yeah. I just thought maybe I think I That's close, because like if if they kill this, we don't have G G G throws up oh. the GGs. I wonder if they were mono black or Color screwed. I suspect uh, color screwed given the early screw. Yes. Yeah. Okay. One and one. How good is this gen avatar? I love it. It's pretty fun. Not to be confused with gin Urso, that's someone different. Oh, I thought you meant just gin the alcoholic drink. Uh, Jim Owens! I didn't know he played magic. <laughs> um ooh. Mm. Hey, redraw with the skull bomb. <laughs> That's true. Let's check this one. What? Can we get two mountains and all will be one? Is that is that impossible? No. No, you have asked an impossible thing of, of Magic the Gathering. Expanse. Uh, green. I'm going green. 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 Yes! What? That's why I did. Genius. Yeah. Um, you strike me as the sort of person that would be a Jamon fan. A what? Oh, did I say it wrong? Say that again. Now I feel, now I feel embarrassed. I'm not saying anything. Oh, don't, don't be embarrassed. I don't even. I don't even know what you said. What did you say? Jamon. Oh, Jim Oh, Yes, yes, Jim Owen, yes. It is, is that how it's pronounced? Yeah, it's Jim Owen. He's, he's, um, he's Irish, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Jim Owen. Yeah, great. I can't tell if you're making fun of me. No, 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 no. Jim Owen, very good uh, comedian. Irish comedian, very famous in Australia, great. I still don't know if you're making fun of me. Well, maybe it'll be a mystery forever. Uh, Prowler? Prowler, he says. Or do we go Golem? <laughs> Remember last week how we were talking about, like, you you say the lines that we don't do? <laughs> because <laughs> I was I was thinking doing this and this. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think let's go... Prowler, because then I could potentially go Golem Slash next Yeah, turn. that's that's attractive. Okay, yeah. And also, if they've got Slash, it kind of burns their mana this turn. Ooh, got him. Ah! 
Ah, uh, look at him go. He's so skilled at the Magic the Gathering cards. No, it's all right. We just wanted to block it. We, we wanted to block and trade for it. No, I want to attack. So I'm going to tap down their next creature. Smart. Because... It's going to be an artifact creature, and I'm going to blow it up with Slinger, and then slash this. Well. well I can slash that, I You guess. can slash that. Can slash that. Mm -hmm. Oh! That's fun. That's good. Um, De, de Golem? I kind of want to do these two now, even though oh, this is really good with this, isn't it? We're not guaranteed to draw a land, though. We've got this anyway, because I want to trade this for this, and I don't want to keep taking three. So I'm going to do that. Is that reasonable? Uh, Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do that. I like I can. You, you could sack the skull bomb and kill the equipment, but... I could, yeah. Um... Okay, look, it's been a creative start to the draft. It's been. Did you like that? You're making fun of me again. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the first two lines from um, that one song. You know the one? It's what it's been are the first two lines. Yeah. That's like one word per line. That's not. That's cheating your listeners Two out of words. You know what I mean. Is. You. Um, this, is, this is an unfortunate development. Yeah, one week by the bare naked ladies. You know, the nineties, the early two thousands, classic. I I have never seen a bare naked lady. Wait, <laughs> that... what? <laughs> um, um, well, I guess we cop the five. Alright, we're gonna draw a land and clap him back. Well, that well works too. that's not terrible. Yeah, alright, let's play this. Priority? It costs one green in this format. Oh, Tyvar's thing of me, Bob? Oh yeah, it's Tyvar's stand. Nice. Tyvar, yeah, you know, Tyvar's thing, Amy Bob. <laughs> yeah, I think that's in the, um, I think it's related to Archfiend of Busted. Oh, uh, of course. Of course. Um, are they about to do that? I think we just have to run into it, unfortunately. Just start blocking stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd probably just die, so. Yes. I think that's all it could be. Yeah. Yep, called it. Interesting that they want that one. Oh, equip. Equip! Oh. Uh. No, that, that won't kill it. It won't? Oh. 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 Well... Three, we four. have a 3 4, and that's. Oh! We need a way to get that off the board, though. What does it do? Makes three threes. Yeah, but we got a, we got a flying big big. It's true. We do have a flying big big. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, busted, broken. And Furnace Strider is going to be a 5-6. That's wild. That's true. That is quite... Well, it just dies to being double blocked by this. But... Yeah, but well, we're not attacking with it, though. Come on. <laughs> I want to kill their Planeswalker range. Yeah, that's what the bird is for. Okay, that's a fair point. I think I'm going to draw a card off this Skull Bomb. I don't need it for the oil anymore. No, you don't. You don't. Yep. You do not. 
please don't attack. It would be a bit miserable if they do, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. Here this we go. Adrian. I think you just gotta... You gotta cop... You gotta take... I could take three. But I'd be tempted to to block... Um, one of them Which, with the raptor. Maybe not, because our raptor is our ticket out of look at getting looked. Um, I should have drawn my card with this before deciding blocks. I always make that mistake. Um. Yeah, make him have it. This Wh is really bad against the judicious application of a crescendo. <laughs> oh. Oh, what a, oh, you've remembered the judicious application of crescendos. So I think I'm going to do this, which like, yeah, any trick or burn spell deals with it, which sucks, but. But I guess you can still trade. Yeah, exactly. Because if it's crescendo, we just get, we just get sent to, to Dead's Town. Cres, crescendo, yeah. That's a big that's big, so maybe you can't I'm, trade with it, actually. I'm pretty pretty glad we blocked. Seven, and I can get this up to To four. Six. Well I uh, oh yeah, true. Which is not enough. I keep forgetting that there's just a random plus four plus four rolling around in this format. Yeah. Let's draw it. Out. Okay. You could... You could maybe... Get a chump block out of them. If I attack, they'll just let it go. I could maybe get a chump attack out of them. Interesting. Which I kind of like. So I think I'm going to augury for a land. Okay. I respect I respect it. Cause we're so behind that I think we need to play a little greedy. <laughs> I've never heard of the card called a little greedy. Oh Adrian! Yuck! Adrian! This is not my fault. It's not my fault. That's the cards. It could have been three non lands. I'm so mad. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at the, the magic gods. I'm just... Look, I'm just going to go to my Zen place. For Zen, a moment. Zen place? Oh. No, I, oh, I didn't have fun. no! Because of Adrian. <laughs> this is... You, you, you... Okay, you can have a... Look, you, I'm storming are you out gonna, of the room. Are you going to take the, the, the card out of into, the deck? Into the deck building room. <laughs> We're taking this card out of the deck. <laughs> um, look, I, I can't lie. That is kind of hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> No, not funny in the slightest. That was another instance of Adrian naming the play that we shouldn't make. <laughs> um, oh, look. This right. is great. See, look. Imagine if this was a stupid tap land. We couldn't play anything with this hand. It wouldn't have been a tap land, though. I should have put a different island in so we can see. <laughs> Which <we draw>. one? <laughs> That's very cool. All right, I might do that between games. I respect that a lot. That's important. Also, bold of you to assume that we're going to win this game, but um, I I like it. Uh... Is this is this card called is this card called Kankle Bloom? Could be Bank Bank Banker Bloom. Blanket um, um, do we just pop, pop it off? Because that thing's gotta go. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. okay. I think I'm going to loot a land away. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. We'll probably draw another one in the next couple of turns. That's what they all say, though. Well... <laughs> Including reality. <laughs> Including right now. Um, yeah, double double two drops is fun. I like Good. I like double two drops. Probably should have done this first in case we draw a better two drop. But that seems pretty marginal. We'll make them fear the. Oh uh, uh, yeah, make them fear something. The quench. Mmm, the quench. It's the quenchiest. Um, They've left two mana up, Adrian. How am I supposed to? How are you? But yeah, oh, very good. That was that was some pro level bluffing. Um, okay. Oh yes, Sam. Um. Bird is the word. Bird. Bird is the word. Well, let me tell you, that's one thick bird. It is rather thick, a isn't it? Thick bird. Um, now, do you I chance like <laughs> not discard this? Hope to draw another yeah, land. Yeah, yeah. Just cycle the lands away. <laughs> oh, we'll never know. That's All right. pretty nice. I think we just start spanking them. Yeah, I like. I can. I can get with the spanking. I think. Um. Yeah, spank, spank the spank zone. I wish to um, enter the spank zone, Samuel. Let's just go with that one. Samuel, the spank zone. You can't just say that sort of thing on the. I internet. wish, I would take me to the spank zone. Good sir. The spank zone, yes. Yes, you. You can't... <laughs> you right I'm there. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for all the smut that Adrian is bringing to this Said... <laughs> ch child-friendly channel. Sa yes, you you on the street. Take me to the spank zone. That's not entirely true. This isn't exactly a child-friendly channel. No. Because if a, if a child were watching this... They might have got the impression that you're allowed to put tap lands in your deck in this form. <laughs> oh no. Respect. Whatever they, shall we they do. Respect, they respect it. Um, well, that's a nice five one there. Shame if someone were to block it. Please attack. Oh. That's pretty rude. What about... Another Fenace Strider. I think I play this. I don't want them to know that this is here. What? Why not? Okay, well, here's, here's a question. I'm then. not going to attack. Sorry, I'm not going to attack into this. Oh. Well, fair then. Yeah. And I'll loot, I'll loot this away. Oh, yeah, and the, and the birdie is the word against the 3 1. You're right. It's possible I should have done that at sorcery speed, but this. They probably don't want to trade a branch blight stalker for this, so. Probably holding off an attack. Young lad! The spank zone, please! Don't listen. To the strange bald man. He's take, trying to convince you to put tap lands in your deck. Take me to the spank zone. Yes. Yes, you. You with the tap lands. Spank zone. <laughs> now. That's where you need to go if you put tap lands in your deck. I don't know what I'm doing with this Ooh. bit. Um, cool. That'll do. Oh, the blowout potential is absolutely feral. Is it? What's the blowout potential? I was going to say you attack with the Furnace Strider, but then they probably just block it with the 5-1 and then you get a Hex Cold slash that anyway. I agree. Um, they do have the tap 
up with a uh, sinew dancer. Oh, that's true. I Could mean, be I'm worth going. Playing it. Yeah, I guess they tap that instead of the raptor, and then you can get a raptor yeah. in. Yeah. Um, is its ability a sorcery? Okay. No. I guess it doesn't matter. They can just activate it in response. Yeah, but they might not. Because if they let you go to attacks, uh, I don't know. I think I... I say, we'll just go to the start of combat and see what happens. Because I can also activate mine in response. Yeah. Okay. And then they tap this down on ends. Actually, I don't think I like this. Attack with the the two two. I, I maybe too... it's no attacks. Maybe it's no attacks. Yeah. Okay. So how does this play out? If I attack with the raptor, they can tap down the furnace strider. I suppose then it takes all of their mana to tap down a 2-2, two -two, at which point I block with a 1-3. That's <laughs> Sorry, fine. Sam. I gotta stop you right there. It's Fenachi Street Rider. Did you did you really need to stop me? Is yeah. That, is that what yeah, it's Fenachi Street Rider. Um, you, know, you know the rules. If there is a Strider in Magic, it's actually Street Rider. What was the last Strider that we had? Oh, there's a lot of striders in magic. Okay, we ooh. This is a fun aside. Yeah. Okay, Berg Strider, Berg Street Rider, classic. A fun It's a it's a fun astride. Oh. <laughs> yes it is. See, that's fun jokes. Unlike Hey Sam, you should totally put that tap land in your deck. That's fun jokes too. Um Berg Street Rider. That's one for the OGs. That's one for the OG oh, fans. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, okay. a, that's a Kaldheim classic. All right, that resolves. I'm going to go to blockers, and I'm going to put this in front of it. And also, they have run out of uh, Sinew Dancer tap mana. Yeah. I know this is slightly, slightly poor card economy, but that's all right. Land, so you can activate the... Uh, the Donser? Alright, that's fine. Opponent, I'm gonna slap you. Loot? So if I. Lootage? If I. If I loot. And then swing. Oh, if I can draw a creature, we could basically just put them. Oh, they've got a five power blocker. Um. I like loot. Maybe not for any good reason, but I like it. So, like, yeah, if I draw nothing, then we get to their turn and they swing with this. I guess I just have to trade the raptor for it. Or worse, they tap down the raptor and I have to trade this for it. Or I just let it through, which is also bad. Yeah, because then they get close to one mana sinew dancer yeah. and that's bad. I don't want to do nothing with my turn, though. Well, that's a creature. Okay. It's like we replaced an Axiom Engraver with an Axiom Engraver. So, um... Striders through the ages. Mm. Berg Street yeah, Berg Rider. Street, Berg Street Rider, that was the original. Classic. Um, so this is Furnace Street Rider. This is Fenace Street Rider. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I just I, I can't keep up. There is another Strider in this format. I've actually noticed this a lot in this format, and I don't know if it's on purpose. Um, but have you noticed? Wow, pass the turn. Um, you should have scryed in your upkeep, but whatever. No, I, I want this to block. Fair. Um, um let's not move it away. This thing has drawn us three cards. Yeah, pretty good. 
Oh, now, uh, oh, let's get busy. Hey, opponent, thoughts on this? Thickum, thickums. Okay. I think I attack with the bird. Um, yeah, I can get behind that. Um, okay, so striders through the... So there, yeah, two striders in this format. Now, I've noticed in this format, and this is an aside to an aside, um, that there are a lot of things... There are, like, lots of double-ups. I've noticed that as well, actually, yeah. Um, like, there's Flensing Raptor. And there's Gitaxia yeah. Raptor. Yep. Um, I mean, even in this very deck, we have Furnace Strider and Furnace Strider. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, nice. No attacks. Love it. They are going to have a four power first striker next turn, though. That just drew us card. Do we like upkeep scry? That's a good question. The one four on blocks is pretty hot, so I don't think so. Yeah, no, you are right. Oh, oh, hello. oh baby. Let's go to combat. Let's go to attackers. Guess I could have given it haste. This Maybe is true. Probably should have done that, actually. Uh, let's go to attackers. Get in with this. And just this. Suppose this blocks this stupid thing. What? What blocks what stupid thing? This? Blocks yeah, this but so does thing. Serum Core Chimera, so I don't know what you're talking about. This is a 2-4. This is a 4-2 first strike. Uh, oh, yeah, because Serum Core Chimera won't have an oil on it. That's it. I'm not going to attack. Yeah, okay, that's... Uh... It's a, it's a salient point you, you made. Yeah, I definitely should have should have attacked with this. That's all right. Would you say that that was a minor misstep? Yes. Ah, good. I was trying to decide whether it was a mental misstep or a minor misstep. <laughs> ah. Um... Now, this is where I look through uh, all the cards of one... For next year, all will be one uh, to see all of the double ups. Now there's two. Uh... Oh! <laughs> didn't want to. Didn't want to. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, we really just didn't give them a window that game. No, we didn't. Like they played fairly threateningly, and we we never got a poison counter. We just did, like didn't let them get a foot in the door. That's true. Or you know they had. Lasagna party starting and had to go. One of the that other. is true. It is very hard to turn down the lasagna party. Um, so double ups. There's multiple scamps. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, there's a saw blade scamp. Uh, and there's yep. there's also uh, what's the other scamp? Furnace. Scamp? The cacophony scamp. Cacophony scamp. Saw blade scamp. Raptor. Raptor. Um, deck. <sighs> That's the third time we've seen an all island, all of it one hand. Maybe that's why. That's why the card is named that. All will be one basic land type. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's probably the title of the video. <laughs> um, <laughs> do I keep this? Probably not. I don't love it. Yeah. This, right. this, this is, this is a, is a hand though. We are, we are destined to not get our build around into play and it makes me very sad. Yeah. No, it makes me, and it makes me sad too, Sam. Decline. Uh, yeah, I know a Thomas Lee. Oh! I think, he, 
And I think he plays Magic. Um, right. But he goes by a nickname. I doubt he would actually have... Raptor? Thomas Lee is his name. Um, do I want the extra counter on the Raptor? Would we exchange a counter for a hit? Yeah, that's that's the real question. A schlag. A schlager, as the, the Germans uh, would say. So after last week's resounding success, I've drafted this deck multiple times. The... The um, mo mono justicia. Yeah, mono justicia, all two drops, 14 lands. I think it's good. Oh, I don't doubt it. It's just so aggressive, and the lifelink matters so much. Yeah. Uh, trade? Deal? Sack it to this thing. Please. Cowards. My turn. Oh, Hello. good timing. Uh, I guess we just played the Chimera, right? I think so, yeah. I can see two counters, but that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause it gets yeah, because of the, the, the Golem, and we've also got some uh, Proliferate coming on the Augury. Yeah, true. Oh, land next turn is going to be hot. Real good, yeah. It's entirely possible I even just dig for a land with this. Well, no, because you want the extra oil counter off of the Golem, right? Off of the Proliferate. I don't think it works that way. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Oh, it's just and it's just when it enters, right? That'd be cool if it did work like that. It, it would be nothing. What there's nothing all about. Um, I don't want to play my golem anymore. Augury for a land, or just ooh. Okay, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to play halberd. They're going and then do some attacks. They're going to remove the chimera. In response, I will augury put the third counter on the chimera and blow up their two two. You will have to discard Iga Plate Golem or discard whatever you draw with Augury to do that. Yeah. Okay. Or do they just plumb out on anything to do on turn four? Could just be either that. Is either is fine with me. Wow. Okay. Cool. This magic game, Sam. Easy. It does strange things sometimes. Oh. Into the counter spell as well. They had zero, zero fear. Can this hit planeswalkers? Uh, it's any target. Creature or planeswalker. All right, cool. They're going to zap the chimera, and then I'm going to do the thing that I said. Got him. Cool. Get him. Right. Got so him. Let's got him. Get him. Oh, whoa. Uh. I guess take the furnace strider to discard. Yeah. Submit. Oh, it was a sorcery. Sorcery. <laughs> We're good at magic. <laughs> uh, it's all right. We would have cast it anyway. Gives us a treasure for the haste. Oh yeah. See, this is this is the plan. The, that was the plan oh. the whole time. Not that it matters, I'll probably just play Ica Play Golem still. Oh, that's pretty good too. Uh, Alright, let's play this. I think. Maybe not. I guess if I draw a land, I can play both of these. Yeah, oh, uh, no, I can't. Alright, let's do this. Face. Planeswalker. Do you like my blue and red treasure? Yeah, I do. It's fun. It's got a weird That's... image. It's cool, isn't it? Very, very weird. It's still named Serum Core Chimera. Oh, yeah. It just becomes a treasure. Yeah, artifact treasure. Yeah, right. That's really cool. Interesting. Attack? No attacks. Well, opponent... Now I'm worried they're going to have, like, White Sun's Twilight or something. Oh, ooh. Um... 
Am I supposed to play around that? Well, here's the thing, right? If you swing with everything... Yeah. Well, no, I was going to say, you could you could theoretically put them on a two-turn clock if you just turn everything sideways, and that's oh, what. I'll play this. Yeah. And, and then play that next turn. Yeah. Because, like, the more likely scenario is it's just a removal spell, except that they didn't play anything on turn four. Yeah, I, I agree. So, all right. Let's do this. And if then combat trick make as well, the I error of casting a trick before. Oh, it's that. Okay. Spend a raptor counter? Yeah. This is a strange game. This is a weird game. There it is. Well, no. may as well cast it. I guess this would have been spent on our, uh, our furnace strider if that was the play. Yeah. Um, alright. Just do it. Just do it to him. Yeah! Cool. Right. We did it to him. Very good. All right, creeping up. Might get to Diamond 2 before the end of this. Mmm. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Orb. Orb. <laughs> <laughs> and if you listen to the draft bunks often, you will know that we're 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 a fan. We're a fan of an orb. We don't mind an orb. Like a, so like a good orb. Um, okay, Praetor v. Pro Praetor. Iced Frog uh, 23. Hey, no, look, no, no, Sam, it's, it's playable. Hey, look, Sam, it's playable. It's playable. It, it's, you it's, still don't have two mountains. It's all right, you'll scry into it with the seer. Oh, Ooh. Scamp. I like that more. You like them more? The Haste. Hex Gold Slash. No. Nah. Whoa, the slowest red deck in the format. Now I hear what you're saying, Sam. Sandbag the... <laughs> sandbag all of the spells until all of the one. Or all will be one. And, and, and I say yes. Coward. <laughs> I need to find that second mountain. Um, the question is, do I play the like this or hold up this? I kind of want to hold up this, especially that they didn't play a one or a two. Well, that being yeah. said, they're probably just screwed and they're gonna play a two now. I agree that they're screwed. Oh no, they're gonna play oh. a three. Ah, oh, see, punished Sam. I am indeed. Oh, oh. there's the second mountain. Look, look who it is. Fenace Skull Bomb. And I passed the turn. Mono Red or Mono Screwed? Mm. The Eternal oh, so Question. One of the, one of the cool things you can do with this you can proliferate your opponent's stuff, and because it's you oh, putting the counters and on. And get triggers. Yeah. Uh, we've won, Adrian. I don't think our opponent could win now. You, that seems not great. It's a big hit. That's fine. All right, let's do this. Don't need that. Let's do this. <laughs> Deck. Scrybug. 
Um, well, we got lands. We got lands, Sam. All the lands you could possibly want. All right, your turn. If they just play the stupid 3 2, I might have to shock it. All right, much better. What about Psychomantis? Four, three. Could you stop playing three toughness, non-toxic things? Apparently not. We're gonna play this and then just like die the next turn. Don't don't be so uh, pessimistic, Sam. Hmm. Where there is a will, there is a way. I don't think I want that. No, neither. I think we want something with oil on it slash removal. Yeah. Yeah. Deck. Or well, hey, look. We right, got let's go. we gotta cast it. We let let's go. Alright. Your turn, opponent. And we got the double chumps. We got the double chumps. Mm hmm What could go wrong? And we do have a shock on a stick. Cantrip shock on a stick. Troll. Not That's bad. Annoying. Not bad. Now, I, I do like a chump here, and I think we, we got her. Yeah, so I put Seer in front of Mantis. Yes. Oh, they didn't. Oh, that's smart, because they know we need to chump. So I think I just do this. Yes. Mm, no. What's the what's the what's the the hot what's the hotness? Is it Raptor? Yeah, Raptor would be really good. Uh, do I ping them? Probably. Well. Okay. All right, so I can I can kill the lattice blade mantis, which I think I will do. Ah, oh, slash slash Fenace. Yeah. Can you also prowler? Oh, actually, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, this is almost really good. Can I draw another oil thing? Any amount of oil. Any amount. That, that That's counts. an oil. That counts. All right, so I punch. Oh, we could proliferate onto them and go wild in the paint. Oh, I can. All right, all right. So I hit... I guess I'm going to kill both of their big things. So I hit this. And then I... And you augury? Yeah. And then I augury. Ping it Prolific dead. Oh, okay. Ooh! No. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, yeah, ping Cackler and then proliferate for three. Yes. And then kill both of them. Yes. Take a strider with two oil. And then make sure you click this. And this. Yeah, okay. Triggers. Triggers. <laughs> now you can kill it. I'm just trying to think. Because I've got another three damage sitting here. But it doesn't. Quite work. You're also running out of time. I'm one damage short, right? Yeah, you are. Okay. That was a turn and a half. That was amazing. <laughs>
Because what you can now do is you can sort of like two for one yourself to get rid of oil go to troll. True. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Are we dead? Uh, yes. Yeah, because there's no way I can deal two damage. Does all we want care about counters removed? No. Whenever you put counters on a permanent or player, it deals that much damage. Oh wait, what am I talking about? I'm not dead. Sorry, I'm really, I'm just really stupid, Adrian. Just ignore me. Oh yeah, because no, 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 we no, kill no. it. We have a hex, a hex blade slash. <sighs> Look, people, just never mind. Um, one blocker, hex gold slash. Shoot this. Shoot you. Adrian, I don't know why you were so worried. You need to- Yeah, to I, yeah I don't know what was going on there. Um... Great, that's excellent. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's good. I mean, Your I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna say anything. Don't say words. You're not allowed to no, say words. But shan't. Someone gag him. I am going to remain completely silent. God damn it. I I committed thought crime. I thought it. <laughs> yeah, this is still your fault. <gasps> We did the coolest thing this game. We we have the moral victory. Yeah, we do. We really do. Well, they really had all of the threats, huh? They had the double hasty three twos and the burn spell. Yeah, we wiped their board and then, yeah, they went double hasty creature into burn spell. Well, you know, I'm sometimes the magic be like that, you know? All right, that was worth it for <laughs> for the mega kill. <laughs> yes. No, the 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 all will be one wipe your board was amazing by proliferating onto their own creatures. Yes. All right, that made it worth first picking and building around. Oh, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Uh. Cool. This card is sweet. I wish we drew it with two mountains more often. Yeah. I, um... It's... It really is turn five do nothing. It is, yeah. So, like, you've really got to have enough stuff in this part of your curve that you can... Like, these are great, right? Because you... They they block just everything. And they and they also become, like, bot lightning bolts when they enter the battlefield. Yeah. Yeah, so these were these were perfect. Yeah, we pass it's one. It's, we, we passed one at one point for a two drop, which was maybe wrong, but it's a weird. Yeah. It's a weird card, and I think because Wizards has probably costed it correctly. Because when you have it, it is nuts. Yeah, yeah. Like if this card costs three, I think it would be completely nonsensical. It would be wild. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, when I first looked at it, I thought, so you spend five mana to do nothing. And then what? Your upside case is you play one of these. And so your five mana thing with extra help deals three damage. That's not good. Yeah. But it doesn't consider stuff like this. Which did kind of just randomly do three damage. Like, it did also become... Yeah. 
Like, and not just a lightning bolt, like a forked bolt or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, because the turn we untapped with this, we took down two, three toughness creatures. So we split six damage around. With two spells. Yeah, and then and then on their attack, we took down another one. Yeah. Yeah, I so mean... That was just one turn. Maybe, maybe we just, you know, the magic gods did not shine and smile upon us enough. And I maybe think we in, played a, perfectly. in an alternate universe, we uh, we would have done way better. That'll bring us to the shout out row. This is where we give personalized shout outs to the top eight comments on our last video and a personal shout out to every new commenter. Well, we get that ready. Today's pick of the week is up on screen now. Drop us a comment. Let us know what you would have taken here. Oh, we won't be sure of this thing the next week. And you are very tired. What this did deck, the this deck is folks- sending him to sleep. God damn. No, it's my co-host. What would the what wow. did the fine folks have to say about Wick of the Peak last week? All right, pick of the week last week. Um, the the ruthless justiciers. Um, it was a very good video. Um, cooler than this video, you be the judge. But anyway, before we get into the top eight, um, we we did a poll, and the poll is up here now. Ooh, yay! Uh, so many people uh answering the poll. Uh, unanimous. Five votes Look- yes. You do want to see a streak saving flashback draft, and guess what? You've already seen one. We did it. Wait, what? Uh, same in the edit here. Uh, what's that about a Strixhaven draft? You better all go check our channel and see if there's a Strixhaven draft up there. What? What? There's not? Look, you'd better watch every video on the channel just in case. Just just watch all of them just in case one of them is a Strixhaven draft. Look, okay, we recorded a Strixhaven draft. Spoilers. Uh, and we had planned to get it out before this video, but unfortunately it failed its exams and it's been held back a year. I mean, a week. So you're going to hear us talk about that a little bit here. There'll be a few spoilers if you care about that sort of thing. Um, the video will be published in a couple of days. We'll let you, we'll let you find people marinate on this video first. That's all. Back to the shout out, And it was spectacular. It was something about it was spectacular. <laughs> I was, ha- I, it was spectacular being back in Strict Saving. It was, that was, that was pretty spectacular. But, um. The, um, the, the contrast between that set and this one was like really palpable to me. Oh, 100%. Right. We, we took two seven drops and an eight drop. And played 18 and like, in our deck. And we're like, yes, this is, this is amazing. Yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely yeah, definitely a different format with totally different rules. Exactly. Yeah. But fun though. I had fun. Oh yeah, it was amazing, right? And like I prefer the Strixhaven type of format, but I think that's part of what's cool about draft is you never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolate spirits. Do you say chocolates? Yeah, well, like chocolates, like the card shock, but chocolate. Yeah, it's like when when you play something with two oil, with all will be one. Yeah, that's a chocolate. That's a box of chocolates. <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> let's get onto the top eight. Let's start off with Kishon, and Kishon says. Cat, I would have went with Salvo <laughs> in the picture de- in the picture pick. Going with Crawless, uh, Crawling Chorus is such a flex, and that it was. I don't know what happened at the start of your. Uh, it's a um, it's a Canadian flag emoji that it renders on my phone, but it doesn't render on PC for some reason. Oh yeah, I see it as cat. Just yeah, cat. me too. But it, yeah, it renders when I look at the comments on my phone. So. Uh, take that, Canada. Um, yeah. yeah, crawling chorus, definitely a flex. Yeah, I, and you know what? I kind of stand by it. I kind of don't. 
I want to stand by it, but I have a feeling maybe next time I see a stupid four mana five five come around, I may I may pick it this time. I don't know. As I uh, see, it's here that I see the duality of Adrian. Oh, <laughs> the duality. The Adrian that was at the top of our draft league leaderboard would admit that he should have taken the four mana five five hex proof. Okay. But the Adrian that maintains that we should have had a tap land in this deck. <laughs> what is. Wh- who is this would, Adrian? Would stand by that crawling chorus till his dying breath. I don't know about this Adrian guy. Seems uh, highly inconsistent. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it was it was a fun thought experiment. I mean, thank you for uh, participating, Kishon. Uh, it was cool. But what I what I found really interesting about this was I thought everyone was going to jump in and say, obviously, you take the green bomb. But I actually think we had more people voting to take one of the two red removal spells. Yeah, right. So, like, in my head, it was the pick between the the green card and what you picked, which was what made it interesting. And we put the red cards in there because I remembered that they were in the pack and it they were they're all so strong. Um, but, yeah, lots of people in the comments went for the, the red spells, which we'll see, including Kishon, which, uh, yeah, I quite like. And I think the decision between Hex Skull Slash and Salvo is really interesting, right? Oh, yeah. No, I agree. Because Salvo actually has a higher win rate. But I think pack one, pick one, I don't think I could take it over Slash. No, Slash is so good. It's just but so in Crawling Chorus and to, I guess, address the point behind the whole thing, right? Crawling Chorus, if you can pick it up, get into white early, have a, you know, a critical mass of them, that's super hard to beat. It's like the most dreaded thing to see on turn one, right? Especially if you're on the draw. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? It's just like play crawling choruses, win game. There are so many games in this format that just go, you're on the draw, your opponent goes crawling chorus, you play land. Then they go, um, whatever, the, the two drop first strike hex brew, uh, two drop first strike toxic thing. Yeah. And then you're like, okay, I guess I'll play my two drop. They remove it and just get you. And, and now like, you're corrupted, so from- and now it's over. Right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It's not the pick that I would have made, but I, I still dig the I still dig the call. I think it's cool. Agre- agreed. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, Kishon. Um, always, always a pleasure. Uh, next up, we have got Randy Grand Wizard in the comment section, and Randy Grand Wizard says... Uh, the pathetic injector is my favorite nickname of the set. Ke? The Adrian save music now. <laughs> um, Ke? 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 What do we do? We don't make fun of our opponent's comments. Um, unless they're from Michael. Uh, no. Uh, you don't edit the video. I could have put one in there just then, and maybe I'd never never told you. I just played. If you start doing that, I'm going to start putting audio edits part way oh, through. Oh, you have you no idea. This is not okay. I, I bank on you not watching the whole video sometimes. I do watch the whole video. It's just before you edit it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, People... People, help me out here. Please comment if Adrian is doing sneaky things. No, no. You don't, don't let him get away it. with this. This is just between you and me, <laughs> audience. Just between right, this, you and me. This might be a declaration of war. <laughs> <sighs> just for con- people that might be a little bit confused about the editing here, I edit the audio before it gets inserted into the rest of the video and then Adrian puts the video together. Which means I have full free reign to do whatever I want with Adrian's voice throughout mm, the video and he'll true. never notice. This is true. Because unlike me, Adrian doesn't watch the full thing before we before he renders it. 
And then Adrian's going to slip some silly little video edits in that I'm not going to notice. Yeah. Maybe. This isn't good. Um, anyway. Uh, thank you, Randy Grand Wizard. Uh, care? Yeah, indeed. Who who knows? What is the Epic Adrian save music? Oh, that's a really good question. If you can name the song that the Adrian save music is from, um, I don't know. I'll you'll get a special, extra special shout out to I mention. Um, because I I want to see if anyone can recognize it. Because um, YouTube's content ID can't recognize it. We don't get pinged for that. Um. So I'd be interested to see if anyone else can figure it out. Uh, good Are luck. you sure about that? Because we did get we did get copyright pinged. Yeah, we get on a we video. get copyright pinged for Maximum Magic Monday, and that's its oh, own. Okay. And I I cannot tear myself away from my musical decision on Maximum Magic Monday. So uh, maybe you're gonna get clever. But anyway, um, yes. Uh, comment. What is the Adrian save music. Can I guess? Yes. I reckon it's freejazz.mp3. Freejazz3.mp3. Well, you would uh, you would be wrong because um, you've probably listened to it and been like, wow, radical guitar explosions. Um, and I don't think oh, yeah, that not- is the usual contents of the... Uh, Epic Adrian save music. But anyway, thank you, Randy Grand Wizard. Uh, thank you, as always. Uh, next up, we've got David Cobb, and David Cobb says, LOL, you guys do Maximum Magic Monday when going for the janky fun decks. And it's true. It is true. Like, we'll do a real super, like, yeah, we're trying to win this week, and yep. we'll go, like, 1-3. Yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty reliable, right? We're like, we're going to draft well, make good picks, be disciplined, play well, go 2-3. And then we're like, hey, what about this orb card, lol? <laughs> yeah, this orb is going to be fun. And then we annihilate it. We, we crush it. It's the best video we've ever made. Yep. Or the ridiculous bouncy proliferate deck or the all two drop deck <laughs> from last week. So all Maximum good. Magic Monday. Yep. So good. Um, oh, wait, that's a lie. Orb was not magic ma- maximum Magic Monday. Yeah, yeah. We well, I do remember. I did. I think I did put a maximum Magic Monday in there just because the deck was so good. Yeah, you did. I was like, this <laughs> this deserves one, even though it doesn't yeah. actually qualify. Yeah, I agree. Um. So, so yes. Uh, that's just how it is, David. I don't know how to explain it. This is how it works. I think we just need to draft more memes. Maybe. Still waiting for Graz. The Juggernaut. Yeah, we are, actually. That actually showed up on uh, 17 lands when I was looking at the worst cards in the set before. <laughs> Which, you know what that means? We must draft it. We must draft it. That's true. We it, is higher than, it is higher than Monument. <laughs> well, Which look- is the one I really want to do. We haven't seen one in a while. We saw heaps in the first couple of weeks. We haven't seen one yeah, in a while. Yeah, we saw... And I... I distinctly remember seeing like at least two grasses as well i think we've only seen one and we took it for the record but didn't buy it Un- unacceptable irrelevant yeah monument 38 percent uh where's grass grass 46 percent so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> there's a very good chance that we'll play it when we come across it. Excellent. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you, David Cobb. As always, a uh, classic commenter. Hope to see you in uh, this video and future videos. Thank you, uh, as always. Next up, we have got Amazing Muku, and Amazing Muku says, don't have anything insightful to add this week, but that Maximum Magic Monday just becomes better every time I see it, and thank you, thank you, thank you. It is worth the the copyright claim on the videos that the Maximum Magic Monday gets put in. Yeah, if you ever see the, your favourite draft channel, well, sorry, if you ever see your second favourite draft channel just disappear one day, you know it's because we did too many Maximum Magic Mondays, 
and YouTube has just deleted their account. No, we don't get struck. We get we get claimed. So if we ever know, wanted to d- make, they don't know. They oh, don't okay, know okay, that. okay. Well, uh, yeah, it, yeah. What Sam said. Look at Adrian trying to be correct all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, except when I uh, tell Sam that he should make a certain play. Um, <laughs> I'm not letting the tap land go. Well, you did. You let it go out of the deck. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna mail you one. A tap land. As a threat. As a threat. Well. Mm. Um. I'll put it in. I'll put it in a box of magic cards. Happily. Hey, a little bit less bulk for my apartment. And ah, a bit less for yours. Maybe that's a strategy is just send people bulk with threatening me- messages written on them in Sharpie is like calling cards. That's kind of cool. There's a like way that. to deal with your, your, your un- unwieldy quantities of bulk magic cards. Yeah, which I think I'm approaching breaking some sort of record for. It's a lot, it's a lot of magic cards. Yeah. I I haven't finished sorting it yet. When I finish sorting it, I'll take photos and show everyone. It's taking up a lot of room in my apartment. <laughs> Jeez. Well, um, and with that, I will say thank you, Muku. Uh, as as always, Maximum Magic Monday is my favorite video edit that I've ever done. Uh, it's the best, and I'm glad that you enjoy it because um, I I get I watch it the whole way through every time I insert it into the video. <laughs> it's my favorite. I love that. Thank you, Muku. Onwards to next commenter, Mintman O'Mergan. And Mintman says, my order for pick of the week, Spinoderm Salvo slash Chorus. Um, It's a bit weird to put Salvo and Chorus together. Like, why is it Salvo slash Chorus? Just list individual cards. You don't need to put them together like that. (laughs) Yeah. And writing the word slash instead of just, Typing a slash yeah. key, weird. Yeah, just hit the individual key. You don't. That's that's kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the reason is uh, I like taking playable rares for collection, and this hey, is true. Rare drafting. That's uh, but, that's one way to do it. But um, at real human meat draft, it's rare redraft. So um, mm. everyone pops their rares in a big pile at the end, and um. If you won, you get first pick. If you came second, you get second pick, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So um, does Which remove that as the, a viable option. It's the, that's the only way I've ever drafted in paper, except for it, um, comp relevance. Um, apparently, it's really controversial, though. If you talk about rare redraft on the internet, people get mad about it. Like, what do you mean I don't get to keep the rare I opened? Oh, yeah, weird. I guess in, like, at least in Sydney or at least in Australia, Mm. Mm. it's kind of the norm. Yeah. Yeah, every LGS I've been to in Sydney or Canberra does it that way. uh, People would think it would be weird if you didn't rare redraft. Yeah. So interesting to see that that's the... uh, that's um, that's a thing. Yeah, and I guess it's like a just a difference in perception, right? Because like when I sit down with my three packs at draft, I don't think of them as my packs. Yeah, my this is just my ticket to this game I'm about to play. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas it sounds like people in other areas think of these as like these are my three booster packs, and when and like the cards in it belong to me, which. Mm. Yeah, it's like not necessarily wrong. It's just quite different to how we think about it. Yeah. I much prefer it, though. I think I do, too. Yeah. Because it, A, it doesn't ruin the draft because people have to take rares that don't go in their deck. And it, like, adds a prize to the draft without needing to cost more. Yes, agreed. Yeah. Um, Interesting. Min Man then continues and says, how about a little draft tournament at the end of, uh, end of a set? Eight players drafting the same pool and play drafted decks against each other on Arena would be great if the players were like Draft Punks, Nummy, Jim Davis, Gomlet X, Solaris, MTG Nerd Girl, and uh, so far. 
Um, there are so many content creators in Limited, and a crossover tournament could push the channel of every participant. Uh, full stop. I don't know why I sort of kept going on that sentence. And you know, fantastic naming, Mint Man. Draft Punk's Invitational. So I won't say too much. Oh. But watch this space. This one specifically. <laughs> yeah, Mint Man's comments specifically. Just like not the whole channel. If we're going to make any really important announcements about cool things that we're going to do with the channel, I'm going to put them in a reply to Mint Man's <laughs> comment. Yeah. Watch this space specifically. Yeah. <laughs> And with that... Or even better, no, I'm going to send them to Mint Man and ask him to uh, edit his comment. <laughs> We're just going to uh, co-opt Mint Man's uh, comment and turn him into our own personal PR guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is now the Draft Punk's notice board. Very, very good. And, and one day we're going to wonder... Well, people will wonder why this random video in the middle of Phyrexia All Be One has tens of thousands of views. It's because everyone needs to go here to check the the draft punks notes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the space. Yeah, this is the space. Yeah. <laughs> <Love it. laughs> With that, I say thank you, Mint Man, as always. Next up, we've got Lee Walmer, and Lee Walmer starts it off with alternate timestamps of this video. Zero. Very start of the video. Draft Punk's video begins. Yes, very good. 721, video devolves into a guy ranting in his room alone, talking to the walls, drafting blue cards no one wanted. And I had a feeling, as I needed to uh, attend my black hole getting sucked into appointment, that's probably what was going to happen. Did you listen to what happened in your absence? I did. Ah, oh, damn. That's disappointing. Oh. <laughs> and yes, so, approximately two minutes later, uh, as I was ejected from the black hole, balance restored, Draft Punk's shenanigans resume. Now, we've, we've spoken before on the channel about how one of us is very good at improvising, and the other one is not and needs a script for everything. Mm. If I'd had any sort of notice about your black hole appointment, you really need to share your calendar with me, buddy. Yes. Um, I mean, I, I even forgot about it too. I definitely would have planned absolute shenanigans and done something ridiculous in that time. But I was caught so off balance that I just talked about drafting, instead, <laughs> which is very boring. <laughs> And I know that's not why people come here, but it's all I could do. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, Pick of the week one, I'm with Sam. I would have taken a red card, probably Slash, since I think it keeps me uh, the most open. Red, white equipment has a special place in my heart, uh, but it's so mediocre if you don't get some of the premium mm. equipment. Uh, this is true. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I've had good success with red, white, but you're right. You do need to get the good ones to to make it work. Um, I've tried, yeah, red white equipment with just a bunch of um, Loxidon two threes, and it's yeah, it's not great. Yeah, uh, pick of the week two. The only correct pick here is Justicia. The fact that you didn't get seven white two drops that I have a two one stat line is a shame. You will have to wear around your neck for the rest of your lives, and I can already feel the weight. The fact that we yeah. didn't get to repeat the glory. The unmitigated glory of seven best gear shield mates with the seven uh, Justicias is um it, it is a great shame to the draft monks. It is, yeah. We we will wear that heavy heavy around our necks for the rest of our lives. We will do seven two ones, seven white two ones again. We've we've come so close multiple times. We've actually never achieved that feat that we did in our first ever set when we had like three viewers. We had seven best gear shield mates in Kaldheim. We had six combat professors. Oh, in that's right. Strixhaven. I think we've had five. Oh, we had five Myria's Outriders in Dominaria United. And this time we had five Justicias. But we have yet to hit the magical seven again. Gotta hit that magical seven. So yeah. that there is the chance that your opening hand is just two ones. 
That would be amazing. It would be possibly the best thing ever. Can you imagine if one of M- one of the, the the CFB MTG top five clips was just the opening hand? <laughs> It'd be amazing. That'd be so good. Speaking of sevens, I did a draft the other day. I'd been I'd done a bunch of red drafts in a row, and I was like, I'm bored of it. I want to do something cool instead. And so I was drafting some blue concoction, just like hard avoiding red. It was really open, but I, I just hard avoided it. In the course of that draft, I saw seven hex gold slashes. Good lord. Seven hex gold slashes. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. That's insane. And I took none of them. That is... <laughs> I I I I barely even believe it. Yeah. God damn. It anyway. Lee then says, if I hadn't been following as long as I have, I would accuse you of playing to your best tropes. Millamount Azorius, not technically supported archetypes only, seven common two <laughs> drops, act of treason, team of nonsense, etc. But I have been following for a while and I'm confident it's not that. Which is good. That's great. I love that, A, we have tropes, and B, that we've got amazing followers that have stuck with us for that long that they recognize those tropes, because that's spot on. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's like, what do the draft punks like? Mil- decks where mill is the win condition. Um, es- especially when you're not supposed to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, not when there is a mill archetype. Um, yeah. Yeah, seven common two drops, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Act of Tree Steel and Sack, yep, Act of Trees and Effects. And Classic. whatever team of nonsense happens to be in any given format. It's like he's seen at time of recording, we haven't released the Strict Saving video yet. Now I don't want to. Now I feel like we <laughs> we're just playing to our tropes. Yeah. Uh yep, yeah, maybe maybe we have. Quick, let's just edit it. Can you just like grab a Sharpie in <laughs> Take out in, all uh, of the team of nonsense? Or just like, we only need to change one of the basics, right? So just change all of the red cards to purple cards. Oh, yeah. No, fair. Okay. I can do that. Okay. Good. Very good. Um, Anyway, thank you, Lee. Um, I'm glad that you've been listening and watching enough to to recognize the tropes when you see them. It's very good. Makes us feel very good about ourselves. I think that means you need to make better decisions in life, but I'm glad you made the decisions you did. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Lee. Next up, Sartor Bellevale. Classic Sartor. Um, e- enormous comment. Gigantic. Vast. Um, Globular. Sim- <laughs> Globular. <laughs> um, m- any more synonyms? Can I have a synonym scroll? Oh, you... Yeah, it's just a a piece of parchment, a scroll filled with synonyms. Or a a, a synonym donut. Mmm, a synonym synonym donut. Um, Is bagel a synonym for donut? No. Okay. Well, anyway... So we do this... So we do this one classic style? What is classic style? One line at a time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, so, of course, of course, of course. Classic style. Um, it's getting late. Adrian's tired, too. Yeah, exactly. Except I have the um, the professionalism to not yawn directly into the microphone. Um, Sarato, let's, let's start it off. I'm starting it off, Sam. You, you do every second one. Here we go. Pack three, pick five. This is the better of uh, these two cards. Oops, I picked the worst wrong one. Uh, face palm emoji. Drafting. Yeah, that's it. Game two was tight. I probably would have equipped the Watcher just to have it on the blocker in case that somehow became relevant, but that's fairly minor. Yeah. Y- yes. M- minor. Minor indeed. Therefore, unnecessary. Game minor three. was right there. Ah. Uh... Uh, game three, I had mull, but that's very difficult. Uh, hindsight, vindicated. 
It actually says vincidated. <laughs> oh, sorry, vinc. Sorry. How could I? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, hindsight. <laughs> vincidated. Love it. Timestamp. There's an annoying audio scritch. There was another earlier in game three as well. Might want to look into it. It's a bit painful on headphones. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take us away from single word answers just to digress on this one. This is an ongoing issue and I hate it. For some mm. reason, when DaVinci Resolve exports audio, um it inserts random audio glitches and I have no idea how to stop it. I thought the problem was the AAC encoder. And so we moved to outputting uncompressed linear audio, but now it's happening with that as well. And I'm yeah. at my wit's end. I have no idea how to fix it. And I wish I could stop it. Um, my apologies to any, everyone uh, and their ear holes. Yeah. We'll keep working on it. It's, yeah, like Adrian said, we've gone through periods where we thought we'd fixed it, and then it, for some reason, keeps popping up again. If anyone knows how to fix it, please let us know, because it's getting quite annoying. Yes. But, yeah, we'll keep working on it. Um, Sartor then says, okay, the end of the phone gag got me. Well done. And I'm glad you enjoy my uh, impromptu uh, humor, my, my improvised uh, routines. Ligma. Game four, definitely thought Ica Synthesizer was the jumpy guy and was very confused for a while. Uh, it, it happens to the best of us. Uh, cut of the week, Island, because uh, your more expensive spells are all blue. So you have slightly more time to find a blue source. I genuinely don't know if dropping that land is correct. It might be. It was. Ten. Game six. Yeah, I like bouncing the Reach guy over playing Prowler. Yes, I'm going to assume that we were correct and that you were correct so that everyone can be correct. Game seven, I just played the experiment, make them use the slash if they have it. As Sam eventually said, that threat isn't going away. You're past the point where playing around it is productive. Timestamp again, I would have played the glider before the flash cutter. Personally, you can play and equip the equipment in the same turn. Uh, you can't play and attack with the creature in the same turn. The next turn, I'm with Adrian, play the glider and equip and let them trade Plague Nurse for the eye if they want. Look, I think I think what he's saying is Sam 2, Adrian 1. That felt like Adrian 2, Sam 1, actually. Game eight, I was literally thinking, that's an epic Adrian save, and then you didn't do, didn't do D the thing. <laughs> it was a good call. Well done. Timestamp, I would have held the convert for next turn and played Synthesizer instead, yeah. Infested Flesh Cutter is so stupidly good with the artifact ETB triggers. Oh, wow. Wow, indeed. Um, and also Adrian, epic Adrian save. Uh, so good. So, so good. Um, I'm... I'm the best. Um, continuing on, uh, Sarato says, Max and Magic Monday still makes me giggle every time. Love it. I love it too. Adrian too. Uh, regarding formats, I'd love a mix. You got one, baby. Would you like a Strix mix? Oh, Strix mix. What about, um, sir? Would you like another? Oh. That's good. Can I get you another draft format, sir? Let us know. Do you want to see some sir? Do you want to see some Shadows of Renistrad remastered? Let us know. Let us know. Um, uh, I always watch the Shout Outro, as I'm sure you know. What's the Shout Outro? <laughs> uh, it's a mystery. <laughs> Oh, man, it's not even conventional spreadsheet games. Graveyard Keeper, Final Fantasy games, XCOM. That's, that sounds explicit. I'm going to censor that out. We can't have... <laughs> don't talk about that. <laughs> this is Spell so Force, funny. <laughs> Death Stranding, tons of uh, runny scape sheets. Oh, run escape, all, yeah. I can make almost any video game a spreadsheet game. It's very silly. 
Um, the fu- the funniest part about this is because of Sam's lack of video game knowledge. He thinks that XCOM is somehow an explicit game. Um, I don't think it's a game. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I've no. Some people have <laughs> been to XCOM, and that's not good. No, that's that's inappropriate. Yeah, exactly. Um, I used to play Run Escape way back. Way, 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 way back when um, it was a Flash game on the Jagex web- website back in, like, 2006 or seven. Um Very good times playing the RuneScape. Sorry, RunEscape. Um, and I do I do like your, your game choices, especially Death Stranding. Very, very good. I have absolutely no idea what that whole sentence says. Um... Yeah, he doesn't. It's true. Anyway, thank you, Sarator. Big comment, but we love it. Keep it up. Um, also, because you said that you're listening to the shout outro right now. Hello, Sarator. Um, Hi. We're saying this directly to you. No one else can actually hear this right now. Only you can hear this. You are very globular. Very extremely globular. And thank you. Uh, and with that, on to... Our final commenter, Michael the Gathering, last on, uh, last cab off of the rank, and uh, Michael Raymond the Gathering says at Real Human Meat uh, Pick of the Week, I would have taken a slash, much like Adrian did while he was off in that black hole. <laughs> but but dumb but dumb tis. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's, I can't lie, that's pretty good. That's so good. Uh, <laughs> you will never know what I did in the black hole, um, except maybe it was a shit, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, something, something singularity. But anyway... <laughs> Because they're hard. We don't, don't need to know anymore. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, and and Michael would have taken the slash because they're harder to find than the chorus. Potentially. Uh, same logic for pick of the week proper. Take the disruption as it's the harder card to replace. That's a good way of looking at things. And I, I try and do that as well. I try and think of like, mm. what are my chances of getting a card that plays the same role or... Mm. Like, if something is an uncommon versus a common, um, like, my chances of seeing another common are higher, but uncommon is less so. Yeah, good, good. I, I like I like where you're at, Michael. Yeah, and that kind of plays into the what we were talking about before, right? I said I would take Hex Gold Slash over Salvo. But I would rather end up with one of each than two Slashes. Yes. Well, two slashes is very good, though. It is, yeah. So, like, I mean, that that very pack made it to me and still had the two red cards in it, and I was in red, and I already had a hex gold slash, and so I had to decide between second slash. I don't think he knows about second slash. Um, Second (laughs) slash or salvo. And the Lord of the Rings set is coming up. Yeah. We got loads of Lord of the Rings references coming right up. That's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, and so I took. I would take. I would have taken. Uh, I'm too tired, Adrian. Um, I would have taken <laughs> Hex Gold Slash of a Salvo Pack One, pick one. But I took the Salvo, given that I had one Slash already. I think that's really interesting. I think that's cool. And so I can see an argument for just taking Salvo because you'll probably pick up at least one Hex Gold Slash. Yeah. Can we get a super cut of the number of times we've said slash in this video? We potentially could. That is uh we have we have said it way more than we usually do. Slash 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 slash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um anyway, thank you Michael. And thank you everyone. Another uh wildly successful shout outro. Um and you know what? 
a wildly successful video. Who who cares if we won or not? It's about the fun we had along the way. It's about the tap lands that we put into play. Um, it's about all of that. We may not have won, but we all will be one. If you would like to be featured in our next episode, all you need to do is drop a comment on this very video or share us on social media, as David Cobb does each and every week. You can email us at the address that's on screen now. You can find us on Twitter at DrivePointsMTG. Everything's separated by underscores. You can find me personally. Hang on. I'm going to stop. This is is wild. At calm underscore mirror. My name is Adrian, not yawning into the microphone while we're recording a video because I am a professional and I can keep it together at Walkerade. And Adrian, I really need to yawn. Do you know what they call a werewolf on YouTube? Why don't you, why don't you tell us, Sam? <laughs> Go on, tell us. What is it? What do they call a werewolf on YouTube? Right to the microphone. The like and subscribe. <laughs> I am going to stop the video. What the fuck is wrong with you, Samuel?